History of Programmable Logic Controllers Today, programmable logic controllers are found in most industrial machines and production mines. But that has not always been the case. Before the invention of PLC, large relay panels, timers and counters were used to run the production lines. The very high cost of these devices has led manufacturers to look for other alternatives to replace them. In 1968, Bill Stone of General Motors published a paper describing the difficulties he faced at the factory. General Motors engineers then drafted design criteria for the standard machine controller, which were supplied to four companies, Allen Bradley, Digital Equipment Corporation, Century Detroit, and Bedford Associates. It was only in 1969 that Bedford Associates met the paper requirement through the Modicon 084. Bedford Associates builds on its initial success with the release of the Modicon 184, designed by the engineer Michael Greenberg and the marketing specialist Lee Russo. It was the first PLC designed to meet market demands. In the early 1990s, end-users began making special requests. Factories managers wanted to equip the new machines in the industrial stations with monitoring software. Rather than spend hours troubleshooting, they wanted the machines to tell technicians what's wrong, which has led to the development of human-machine interfaces. Things have come a long way since the first days and PLCs are now common in most factories. There's been a lot of innovation, and many new companies seem to be meeting the needs of the market.